the only person standing between the person you want to become and living that life is you. Okay, let's get right into this video. How to change your life in 30 days. Like I said before, the only person standing between the person you want to become and living that life is you. So I saw this YouTuber did this. She challenged herself for six weeks to become the better version of herself. I feel like six weeks is a long time for me. If you can do it for six weeks, please go ahead and do it. But I'll be doing it for four weeks instead. Let's see what happens if for the next four weeks, you start living like the best version of yourself. Instead of always saying I'll do it, it's time to actually do it and take action. So in her challenge, she gave herself non-negotiables, which is what I'm going to be giving to myself. Because if I can count the negotiables I have in my life, they are a lot. And they are really things that are very important, but I take for granted and whether I do them or not. I actually feel bad, but does that make me do it? I don't think so. But in the next four weeks, I'm really going to challenge myself to actually do it. Push myself, no matter how hard it is or how hard it takes me. I'm really going to try my best to actually do it. So without further much talking, let's get right into my non-negotiables. The first thing on my list for my non-negotiables is waking up at 8 a.m. I put this as number one because this is something I've been struggling with. This is going to help me be more productive and do things at the right time. I always go to bed late, which makes me wake up really late. And before you know it, the day is already halfway gone and I feel very, very unmotivated anytime i wake up i actually do what i'm supposed to do but i actually want to become a morning person and so i'm going to challenge myself to like wake up at 8 a.m every single day the second thing on my list is no phones after 10 p.m so if i'm going to be waking up by 8 a.m i actually have to go to bed on time i don't want to say i want to I'll go to bed by 8 p.m or 9 p.m or 10 p.m because i struggle to fall asleep i just would try my best to go off my phone from 10 p.m so that no matter how much I struggle after 10 p.m., highest 12 p.m. or 12 a.m., I should be asleep by then so that I'll be able to wake up at 8 a.m. The truth is my phone don't actually keep me awake. Even if I don't press my phone, I still find it difficult to fall asleep. But I just want to try my best to really go off my phone and see if going off my phone is really going to help me fall asleep on time. The next thing on my list is having a very simple morning routine, nothing complicated, something very simple that I want to do every day. I want to make it like a ritual, something that I have to do every morning when I wake up. So whatever your morning routine is, just make it very simple, something that you won't have to overthink before you do it. So the fourth thing on my list for my non-negotiables is working out for 30 minutes at night. Okay, I don't want to say I want to work out in the morning because anytime I work out, I just feel like going back to bed. So I'm going to try to work out like 30 minutes at night. Maybe that is even going to help me be a little bit tired so that I'll be able to fall asleep on time. So instead of working out in the morning, I'll make sure I work out at night before going to bed. The next thing on my list is drinking two liters of water a day. I have a very bad habit of not drinking water, which I know is very important for my health and because it's affecting my health already, I feel dizzy all the time, I feel tired all the time because I don't have enough water in my system. So I'm going to try as much as possible to drink two liters of water a day. Thank God I have a very big bottle that is going to help me with that. So I'm just going to fill that bottle every morning and try to finish it throughout the day. The next thing on my list is reading a chapter of a book. 
every day i don't know if i should say every day or every week i feel like reading a chapter of a book every week is a little bit too small so maybe let's say in every two days i should try at least to finish a chapter of a book you guys i have so many books i've gotten in the past and i haven't read any of them they are just piling up so i really want to like read a book or i think the best thing i should do is finish a book within these four weeks i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to pick a book and make sure i finish it within these four weeks i don't know how i'm going to read it but i will try my best to read it in the space of these four weeks and give you guys a review of the book that i read just so i can it can motivate me to read the book not for me to just come here and tell you guys that i read the book while i didn't so i'm going to do that i think that's what i'm going to do for that the next thing on my list is 15 minutes journaling and meditation she also did this in a video where she said that throughout the day we get so busy that we don't even have time to you know talk to ourselves like be with ourselves without any phone or any di distraction we tend to always get busy throughout the day we don't even sit down with our thoughts to even meditate and you know gather our thoughts and you know just put one or two things together we really do not spend time with ourselves we are always so distracted so i want to take like 15 minutes to meditate okay so if i i find it difficult to like just stay and begin to think something in my head i would just have other thoughts coming into my head so that time when i want to be using for meditation i'm going to also journal at the same time whatever i'm thinking i want to like write it down so that i can even come back later and you know read my thoughts and know what i really had in mind as at the time where i was meditating i tend to you know forget things easily so i want to really use that time to meditate and at the same time journal you can do one of the two if you don't want to meditate you can actually journal whichever one is okay for you whatever you want to do just try to spend like 15 minutes with yourself every day so i plan to do my own every morning i'm going to actually do that before i step out of bed because that moment i just woke up and everything is just fresh and i am calm so i'm actually going to do that before starting my day the next thing on my list is taking 20 minutes every night to plan my day like my next day so instead of waking up in the morning and planning my day that same day i would love to do it like a night before so that when i wake up i actually just you know get into my to-do list for the day i don't have to wake up the next day and dread doing anything i want to do but by the time you wake up and you already have what you want to do written you will just get right into whatever you want to do that day so the next thing on my list is 10 minutes bible study every morning you guys you need to take your relationship with god seriously i haven't been doing that lately so i really want to get back into you know talking to god and whatever you want to do either bible study or you want to pray you want to meditate to god whatever you want to do just make sure that you spend time with god every day just make sure that whatever you do you include god whatever journey you are on without including god i don't think you're going to go far so whatever you want to do this should even be the number one on your list you should always make sure you spend time with god tell god what your plans are what you're about to do always work with god whatever you do that god is involved trust me you're going to excel in whatever you're doing the last thing on my list is trying something new every week she did this in her video as well and i don't know how i'm going to do it but i'm just going to try to do something new every week it doesn't have to be extravagant just like she said so it's, it could be like trying a new recipe going somewhere you've never been to me trying out makeup that i've never tried just something to keep me entertained and really chilled it's not every time you have to be serious 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 okay so i'm going to do that i don't know what that is going to be yet you guys my battery is low let me get my charger yeah guys i'm back let's see if i incorporate all these non-negotiables in my life for the next four weeks let me see the change it's going to make in my life health wise and work wise and also in my relationship with god i want to see where this will take me in the next four weeks and i'm pretty sure the results i'm going to get will be amazing if i can stick to this why i'm posting this before i actually do it is because i want you guys to hold me accountable because if i don't post this or put this out there 
I'm not going to feel the pressure to actually do it. So you guys, I really want you guys to hold me accountable. Every week I'm going to come on here and give you guys an update of how far I've gone and if I've added any other things to my non-negotiables or if I've removed anything. This is what she actually did in her own video. So I think it's a very good way for me to also keep you guys updated and you know, help you guys help me keep myself accountable and i really love you guys to also do this with me i really want you guys to come on this journey with me that's why i didn't want to do it before like just coming here to sit down and tell you do this don't do that do this don't do that let's do it together and see if it works out and if it doesn't let's see what we are going to change and what we are going to adjust or work on i'll be so happy to hear feedback from you guys i'll see you guys next week when i share a day in my life putting all these things that i told you guys that i'm going to do into practice okay let me know what you think about this video down in the comments if you have any other thing you want to add let's continue the conversation in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.